Good evening, and thank you for joining us for tonight's Take the Next Steps session. My name is Devin Thompson. I'm with the Visitor Services team here at the College of Charleston Office of Admissions. And on behalf of my colleagues joining me this evening, we are so excited to welcome you all to the College of Charleston family. A huge congratulations. This is a major accomplishment, and we are just so excited um, to have you join Cougar Nation. Tonight, um, I'm joined by three of our admissions counselors who are going to walk you all through your next steps towards enrollment. We know you have a lot of questions, and this is an exciting and sometimes overwhelming time you're in, but what's next? Um, so we're going to cover some really pertinent information this evening that will hopefully ease any anxiety you have um, and, and help make this transition as smooth as possible. Tonight, we're going to cover um, how to confirm your enrollment, making that enrollment deposit, how to set up your CFC email account. We'll also talk about registering for orientation, applying for housing, um, sending in your final high school transcripts, um, and also touch on some really great pre-college programs and, of course, admitted student visit opportunities in the spring. So with that, um, let's get started. I'm thrilled to introduce you all um, to our admissions representative, Victoria Randolph, uh, and she's going to take it from here for our first few slides. Victoria? All right. Thank you, Devin. OK, we're going to talk about um, my Charleston first. This is going to be a portal, which is a hub for all things important for the College of Charleston. So as far as registering for classes, paying deposits, um, housing, dining, all that stuff can be found within my Charleston. Um, with this hub, um, when it comes to paying, you just log in with your My Charleston um, CFC, sorry, your CFC credentials, and then you will access the My Accounts tab. Um, when it comes to logging in with your CFC credentials, that's the CWID as your username. Um, basically, that's everything minus the at g.cfc.edu part. Um, My Charleston is the only site where you'll use only half of your CFC credentials. And if you can't access that, you can all if you um, don't have that in your login, you can go to the IT service desk. It's a chat feature um, there for students. You can go to the next slide. So we're going to talk about tuition and fees. So on this slide, it's just showing your 2021-22 tuition and fees for the College of Charleston right now. Um, I'll talk about direct the difference between total direct and total indirect costs. So when you look at your total direct costs, those are things that are pretty concrete, your tuition, fees, room and board. I will say this number for room and board is going to be a weighted average. Depending on which tier of housing you pick, it depends on how much your room and board will cost. Um, and then with your total indirect costs, that plays into the fact, you know, everyone's individual personal expenses. A student might have to book a flight home, but someone else might not have to pay for flight airline travel. It just depends. But when it comes to our South Carolina residents, um, we take your total indirect cost and your total direct cost. It comes out to about 30500 For non-residential students, it'll come out to about 53409 this is an average. If you can go to the next slide, please. So when it comes to Cougar Scholarship Awarding System or CSAS, um, this is going to be our hub for all types of different scholarships. Um, it will be our specialty scholarships as well as our departmental scholarships. I encourage all students to apply for these scholarships. Um, they are open right now. It's great to apply by January 15th, January 10th, excuse me. But with, um, you don't have to know what you want to major in. There are other scholarships that aren't necessarily departmental scholarships available um, there um, as well. And then with the legacy scholarship, I want to highlight that. This just aims to improve the recruitment, retention, graduation, and workplace success of Black students through scholarships and enhance educational support and profe professional preparation. Um, we just want to also do research on the Black Trailblazers, such as Otto German at the College of Charleston. You go to the next slide. <clears throat> so what com comes to funding resources, I just mentioned, of course, our scholarships that we have to offer, but um, more specifically for our in-states, for our South Carolina residents, 
um, we are just want a reminder, although we are test optional, it will be um, for life in Palmetto fellows. Those are still our test option. Sorry, excuse me. For life in Palmetto fellows, um, you still have to send in your test scores for that, which is separately from your College of Charleston application where we are test optional for those who did do that. Your final high school transcript will also be needed for South Carolina scholarship money. And I will pass it on to Laura, who will be talking about paying your deposit. Thank you, Victoria. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Sanders from the College of Charleston, Associate Director for the Upstate. This evening, we're going to be talking about paying your deposit. So once you're in your student portal, you will select the My Accounts tab, scroll down to the bottom, and click the link that says Log, log on to eBell account. When you click on the button, that will open your eBell account. In the new pop-up window, select the deposits at the top and then select the term you'll be entering CFC. And for most of you, that's going to be fall 2022. In the drop-down menu, select the incoming student deposit and the system will prompt you to submit your $400 tuition deposit. This officially confirms your spot in the entering class. We want to reiterate to you that this is a non-refundable deposit. So we encourage you to do that as soon as you're comfortable with making that deposit. Next, please. Applying for housing. And I do encourage you to take pictures of this slide, of these slides so it can be helpful, but we will also send out this um, presentation via email. So for housing and applying for housing, housing deposits are, will be open February 1st, the deadline for changes and guaranteed housing is May 1st, so please keep that in mind. Housing assignments it will go out July 1st. Housing fee is $50, and again, that's non-refundable. When Once you pay your housing fee, you will also be completing your housing application. Campus housing can help students find their home away from home. They can help you in determining the best residence halls, the best rooms, and suite options that fit you best. Housing contracts and accounts and let you know about move-in dates. The college offers a huge variety of living options from traditional rooms and apartments to beautiful historic homes. Students get to select their room based on when they completed their housing application. The sooner the better. So as we talked about, it is a non-refundable deposit and to be admitted or to secure your housing, you want to not only make your deposit, but you need to complete the housing application as well. Students will select their own roommates by either entering, um, I'm sorry, they will select their own roommates either by forming a, room, a roommate group ahead of the room selection or by selecting into a room with someone during room selection. So if you know someone and you guys know that you want a room together, you can select each other. So the My, the My Housing and Dining Portal, which is what you will see when you apply for housing, has a state-of-the-art system where you can search for potential roommates and message them directly as well. Make sure you check out the residence halls pa hall page and, um, and who you can select from first year returning to, um, to on, I'm sorry, to students who are currently with us. Next, please. Final transcripts. You want to make sure that you have um, made your counselors aware that you are attending the College of, Char of Charleston so they know where to send those final transcripts. We, the College of Charleston accepts AP, IB, CLEP, dual enrollment credits as well. So make an official score request from the testing agency or website. That's especially important for those students who apply test optional. You want to make sure that you get those um, scores in for financial aid purposes. Evaluations will be completed prior to your orientation sessions. So once you um, know that you're coming to the College of Charleston, you select that orientation session, we promise that we will have those evaluations done for you. You can also look at your credit evaluations located under Degree Works in the tab under your My Charleston portal. Check out all of the CFC transfer equivalency database. If you are interested and you have those dual enrollment courses, and of course, all students must first submit that final high school transcript after graduation prior to prior to enrollment in the fall. So just making sure that we have all the the students have all the credits that they have earned and we want to make sure that those show up under degree works for you. 
Next slide, please. And I believe I'm going to pass over to Aaliyah James. Yes, thanks, Laura. Hi, everyone. I'm Aaliyah James, the Associate Director for the Honors College, and I'm just going to give you some brief information about us. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. Um, you can move on to the next slide. We are going to be being able to communicate and connect with you guys starting in January with some virtual events and some in-person events here on campus. So definitely check out our honors website and our accepted student page to see all the fun things we'll be doing. Starting in January, you'll be able to sign up for a virtual meeting with our student ambassadors. This is going to be a casual conversation with the students to kind of get their firsthand experience as honor students. Um, in February, the first weekend, we will be having our interview weekend. This is by invitation only, and we'll be sending these invitations out tomorrow, so please be on the lookout for that. Um, in February, we will be connecting with our Honors Outreach Committee, which is a group of students that is really focused on making sure the Honors College is inclusive and welcoming to all students, no matter their background. Um, another virtual event and another casual conversation with our students here on, at our Honors students here at CFC. Um, the big event that we're having for all accepted students into the Honors College is going to be on March 18th. And if you're not going to come to any other event, we really want you to come to this one. This is going to be a half day experience where you can get the full honors experience. Um, and then kind of concluded in March, you'll, you'll be able to connect with our faculty members virtually and ask them all the questions about the cool classes that we have in the Honors College. Um, I am available in the chat for any questions, um, but definitely if you have any questions over the next couple of weeks, send me an email at jamesar at cfc.edu. And I'm going to turn it over to Chelsea. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Chelsea Jacobs. I am an admissions representative with the in-state team here at the Office of Admissions. So we're going to go ahead and jump into a portion that is very exciting, and that is actually getting to the college because we know that you all cannot wait for that orientation is back on campus. We are so excited to announce that students will now be able to come to orientation right here on our campus and it's actually overnight. We do have limited overnight spaces for 125 students per session. So please do keep that in mind. Registration will open in early March, but it's very important to make sure that we get all business done prior to arriving for orientation so that all of our students can participate for the date that you do sign up for. So I know you're probably thinking, Ms. Chelsea, what business? So that's going to include things like your student health forms that have to be uploaded to my Charleston, lawful presence, dual enrollment, Moment, your official test scores, maybe even those final high school transcripts. These are all things that we must have upon you actually attending your orientation uh, session. We will also have checklists available. So if you just go ahead to orientation.cfc.edu and follow that link, that will definitely help you make sure that you didn't forget anything and you got everything done. Now, if you can, we know that you all now have your email addresses from the College of Charleston. Do your best to go ahead and download that to your phone because we will be communicating with you all regularly. And we wanna make sure that you're able to join us in August, 2022. Uh, you can go ahead to the next slide there. Aside from orientation, we definitely want you guys to visit the campus when you can. Of course, we have campus tours daily, but we do want you to know about those other things that we have available as well, such as our ACE series, our admitted Cougar events that will begin in spring 22 semester with a variety of in-person, but also virtual opportunities as well. That's going to not only include your build your own campus tour days, that's also going to have our admitted student days, virtual school showcases, virtual student and faculty panels, even town halls for admitted students and families that will also include College of Charleston's President Andrew Shu that everyone loves oh so much. Now these dates will go live after tonight's event for registration on our event calendar at cfc.edu. So please make sure if you know that you're already interested in a few of those dates, go ahead in and you'll actually be able to register for one of those sessions. Next slide, please. 
Now, our pre-college programs are programs that I hold oh so dear to my heart. Um, Spectra is one of them. This is going to be a speedy consolidation and transition program for African-American, Latinx, Asian, and Native American high school grads who've been admitted to the College of Charleston. Now, this is a program where students enroll in classes. You'll be earning that college credit living on campus and participating in a variety of programs and activities designed to assist you post high school, okay? So we wanna make sure that you guys are able to transition well from high school to college. And Spectra is a great program that'll assist you in building different connections, friendships, and when school starts in the fall in August, you will be ready in no time. If you go on to the next slide there, this will also be an additional pre-college program, Cougar Excursion. It's a three-day, two-night interactive program specifically designed to increase new students' campus knowledge and facilitate a sense of community. Now, this is $250, and that'll cover your meals, your housing, activity fees, and transportations for the program. We really do highlight all of these pre-college programs here, because that just gives you some additional information and hands-on experience about what it really does feel like to be a College of Charleston student, a College of Charleston Cougar. Now, registration will open up later in spring 22 semester for everyone to register. And once again, both programs helps you build leadership. There's a community foundation, and all of this is before classes even begin. So now that we've talked about orientation, visiting the campus, the different types of events, please, I do want to remind you that after this event tonight, you can go online and register, and we'll go ahead and pass this on over to Devin. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Victoria, Chelsea, and Laura. Um, that was all great information. Um, and since we still have some time left, we're now going to begin covering some questions. So I'm going to hand it over um, to another one of our counselors, Rebecca Drury, and she is going to um, moderate some live questions. Counselors, you are um, just a reminder, you are all welcome to jump in and answer these. So, um, you know, just speak up if you want to cover a question and I'm going to hand it over to Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca. Awesome. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations. We are all so super excited for you. Um, and as we jump into these Q&A, don't forget you can still put some in um, as well. Um, we have some counselors doing um, some on the behind the scenes. Um, but in regards to these published ones, um, let's see, are we going to have them up on the screen or should I go and look at the published? You'll need to look at published. Okay, I can do that. So our first one is in regards to the FAFSA. Um, so as a lot of you all know, the FAFSA, FAFSA uh, was available for students to start um, filling out back in October. Uh, and so the question is, is how do I know how much aid I can receive? Um, does uh, one of my colleagues want to take that or would you like me to, to kick it off with the first one as well? I'll kick it off with the first one. How about that? So in regards to this question, our financial aid packages for students will be released sometime in the early spring. Um, so keep an eye on your emails and your and your portals um, for that information, but all financial aid information will be available um, and sent out in early spring. So our next question here is, can you apply for housing with the $50 without sending in the $400 admissions deposit? The answer to that is no. Um, unfortunate or not unfortunately, but we do need students to, to commit to the college with that $400 deposit um, at first before they are allowed to apply for housing. Our next one here is, are students automatically considered for merit scholarships? Chelsea, you wanna take that one for me? Hey, I'll jump in on that one if that's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, so students, as long as you apply by early action, you are automatically considered for our merit-based scholarships. So um, everyone on here tonight should have reach that early action deadline and that they were considered if you, I'll let, um, anyway, so the answer is 
yes, everyone is automatically considered for early, for uh, merit-based scholarships. Yes, you got it. Thanks, Laura. And this question, this next one is uh, most likely um, for Aaliyah. Uh, how does submitting a deposit affect my application to the Honors College if I was put on the wait list? So the Honors College works along with the overall college, so your deposit isn't going to change the way that you do that for the Honors College. Um, you don't have to pay any additional fees to be a part of the Honors College, so no worries about getting your deposit in. Um, just get it in to meet the deadlines for the overall college. And what about to uh, kind of uh, to continue on that question, Aaliyah, um, uh, what like would that deposit to enroll at the College of Charleston look, let's just throw this out there, better for students who might be on the wait list for the Honors College? I would definitely say that we probably will consider students who have already made that deposit because that'll show that you are, you know, committed to coming to CMC. Um, but I definitely say if you're on the wait list, go ahead and get us your senior grades as soon as you get them. Um, that'll probably be over our winter break, but still send them over to our email um, because we'll be considering students who we already have the information for. Um, so as soon as you get your senior grades, send them over. Go ahead and submit your deposit if CFC is your first choice because um, that's really going to help us be able to navigate through that wait list. And before you go on mute again, Aaliyah, I'm going to jump to this other one that I see right here. I'm a, regarding what does the interview weekend actually entail? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, interview weekend is a chance for um, all honor students to kind of get a, a preview into what the honors college is all about. Um, so you'll be able to connect with current honor students um, that were came to interview weekend and that are now Charleston Fellows. Um, some of our faculty members, our dean, our associate dean, be able to have a dinner with them. Um, and then also it'll conclude with an interview um, with our honors um, staff and faculty, which is going to be a really cool time for you not to only um, be answer their questions, but for, for you also to see if the CFC honors family is for you. Um, so definitely, you know, research us, build up that question list and ask us all the questions that you have that weekend. Um, also, it'll be a couple of academic meetings that you can attend. So if you're thinking maybe um, the School of Science and Math will be able to connect with them, the School of the Arts, all the schools will hopefully be participating in that weekend as well. Awesome. Thanks, Aaliyah. Um, Chelsea, let's pass this one to you, if you don't mind. When is the $400 deposit due to reserve a spot? All right, so we're going to give you to May 1st there. Now, while, well, with the deposit, it's on a first come, first serve basis. So once we're full, we are full. However, our housing, that is May 1st. So if you know that you're going to be staying on campus, then you want to make sure that you get all of that in by May 1st. Is that right there, Rebecca? Technically, all students have until May 1st to, to submit that um, enrollment deposit as well. Um, but of course, we can't unfortunately have all all of our accepted students, all 16, you know, however thousand uh, might be out there. Um, but students do have until May 1st to to mm -hmm. to make that deposit. Um, let's see. Let's do is the orientation only for students that have committed to the school? Uh, Victoria, do you mind taking that one? Sure, I can take that one. Um, so for the students who are the orientation is for students who are admitted to the school. If you're admitted and you're turning your deposit, orientation is for you. Just preparing the orientation is just preparing you for next steps once you become a student at the College of Charleston. Yes, awesome. And then I see Aaliyah is uh, typing a response to that one, but uh, Aaliyah, if you don't mind, I might just go ahead and read it out to everyone as well, because um, I'm sure others have uh, this question. Um, but if you're waitlisted to honors, should you still attend those virtual events? The answer is absolutely. Um, showing continued interest in the Honors College is going to be really important for all students who are on the wait list um, because once again, we're wanting to hear from you and if you're going to show continued um, interest in us, of course, we know that you're one of the students that we want to join us in the Honors College. So yes, sign up for all the virtual events. They are there for you to, to sign up for. Awesome. So uh, we answered this one a little bit ago, but I will reiterate it. Um, uh, when do we hear about financial aid? 
that will be coming in early spring. Uh, students, now is the time to really be on your emails, checking it every day, maybe not every other couple of days, um, but checking those emails for important updates, um, like when that financial aid package is posted in early spring. Um, and again, the deadline for the $400, $400 deposit to secure your spot is May 1st. Um, our next question here is when are our when's the Cougar excursion? Um, we did talk a little bit about what Cougar excursion is. Um, there is only that one. Um, and uh, Cougar excursion normally takes place about the uh, a few a couple days before school starts. Um, and so you can definitely go onto our website, go to the search bar, type in Cougar excursion, and it'll give you all the information. Uh, registration for that won't open though until late spring or so. Um, let's see, Aaliyah, I'm going to bring you back in. Are Honors College students guaranteed a space in the Honors College Residence Hall? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be based off of when you do your depositing your housing application. Um, first come, first serve. Um, so definitely if CFC is your first choice, go ahead and get that deposit in, do that housing application, and you'll be able to secure your room. Don't go anywhere, Aaliyah. <laughs> is it too late to apply to the Honors College? It is not too late to apply to the Honors College. You have until January 15th. Um, the only thing that you need to do is go ahead and submit your Honors um, essay. That topic is still on our website. Um, you can submit it either through your CFC portal or if you have any issues there, just shoot us an email at honors at cfc.edu. And one more for you, Leah. Will the invitations for the Honors interview weekend be mailed or emailed? They will both, they'll be both. So you'll get a packet in the mail and then hopefully tomorrow you will also get an email. Awesome, thank you, ma'am. Our next one here is if you were going to receive merit aid, would you have been notified yesterday with your acceptance letter? Anyone wanna take that one? Hey, I'll take that. Um, uh, yeah, yes. Um, Merit-based scholarships, you would have received those awards that award letter with your acceptance yesterday in your portal. Yes. Yep, you got it. So, you know, unfortunately, um, if you did not see anything in your acceptance letter about that, um, then unfortunately we were not able to, to award any money. But um, if it was in there, then uh, there you go. Let's see, the CFC early spring release of financial aid awards include those FAFSA loans and awards if student already sent FAFSA application to CFC. I'll go ahead and take that. So yes, once your um, information comes in later in March, when you go into March Charleston, that is where you'll be able to uh, see everything there. That will include everything that has been included with your FAFSA. So with you submitting your FAFSA by March 1st, any loans that you're eligible for, any grants, all of that will be available for you to see there as your award for you to accept. Awesome. Thank you, Chelsea. Um, our next one is uh, when will I find out if I'm accepted into the Honors College if I applied early action? Yeah, so all of our early action applicants should have received their decision in their COC portal under the Honors College tab. If you didn't receive it and you applied to the Honors College after you applied to the College of Charleston, so if you originally said no to applying and then went back and submitted an essay, you do not have a decision yet, but we are working through those decisions, so you should have them in the beginning of the year. Awesome, thank you. Um, Victoria, if you could answer this one for us, do all freshmen have to live on campus? So not all freshmen have to live on campus. About 90% of our first year students do live on campus, but it is not a requirement that you live on campus for first year students. Thank you. Any other scholarships offered by CFC outside of what was offered with the decision letter must be applied for by January 15th. I think it, it was January 10th. January 10th on all those specialty scholarships. Um, will merit awards come later or was it on acceptance letters if awarded? 
Again, if you were rewarded a, a merit award, it was within your acceptance letter. And if not, um, uh, we do apologize. Um, just to clarify, you're saying if we pay the deposit to four hundred dollars and you are already full, I will not be admitted. So that's not that's not the case, unfortunately. Or uh, that's not the case. Every student does have until May first um, to submit their that four hundred dollar deposit. Um, so uh, yeah, to clarify, if you submit your deposit by four hundred or submit submit your four hundred dollar deposit by May first, you are still given that spot in our class. How do you find your CWID number? It is within your portal. Um, so if you log into your admissions portal, it's within there, it's within your admissions letter, multiple different places. But if you still, for some reason, cannot locate it, reach out to your admissions counselors uh, and we can provide it for you there. Um, in order to hear about financial aid, do we have to be committed to the college already? Anyone want to take that one? No, you do not have to. Um, uh, all students who uh, submitted uh, that uh, FAFSA um, uh, to the College of Charleston um, will uh, be uh, able to see that award package when, when provided. Aaliyah, uh, do you have to live in the Honors Residence Hall or can you live in other residence halls if admitted to the Honors College? You do not have to live in the honors dorm. Um, it is not required. Um, you can live in any of the other dorms on campus and still have access to the dorm in that first floor, that living and learning community. Um, but it is recommended that you live there. That is where you will begin to build your honors family and community. So definitely um, consider it. And if you're thinking maybe that you have a couple of friends that you want to live with your first year, maybe consider the top two floors in Barry. Those are not um, exclusive to honor students. Um, so you'll still be in the honors dorm. Awesome, thank you. Let's see, Devin, any others? Yeah, these have been great questions. Um, just a reminder to all of our attendees tonight, some of the information covered like on housing, um, tuition rates and different indirect, direct costs, things like that. Those are all of this is being recorded. So we will be sending the presentation out um, to you all over the weekend. Um, so be on the lookout for that. You can review it with your families. And then um, there were some questions about our admitted student events. So our admitted student days will um, be taking place on February 26th and March 19th. Those are Saturdays. Um, but we have a whole host of events taking place this spring. So um, they'll be offered in person and virtual. Those are not the only two days um, to visit us and see us on campus. So um, make sure to check out the admitted student page on the admissions website and you'll see all the dates listed with links to register um, for those opportunities this spring. Rebecca, I'm, I'm going to look through the list um, just a few more minutes, but I think we've covered most of the questions. Um, tonight. These have all been fantastic questions. Um, I'd also let you all know that we will have special topic sessions in the spring for admitted students. So we'll have a more in-depth housing presentation this spring um, that'll really walk you through um, you know, the selection of roommates and suite mates and things like that. And just a reminder that while you're not able to tour residence halls in person right now um, due to continued COVID-19 safety precautions, you can go online and see really in-depth virtual tours of each of our residence halls. And this is such a great resource, um, particularly, you know, if you can't even get to campus right now, maybe you live far away and it's just not in the plans for you to get to campus right away. Um, this is another great option for you to see, um, for you to see those residence halls. Well, um, that's gonna conclude our session this evening. Again, if you have any um, specific questions, I think I'm going to ask Rebecca to drop into the chat um, our admissions events email address, or I can tap, chat it in really quickly to everyone. Um, but if we didn't get to your question tonight, you know, please make sure to reach out to us. We are here for you. Um, and of course, you can always reach out to your admissions counselor specifically if um, you don't have their email address already. If you go on to the admissions website, um, off the College of Charleston homepage, you can find that information to connect with your counselor there. 
But again, uh, on behalf of my colleagues that joined us tonight, thank you again so much for taking the time to log on. We are thrilled, I can't say that enough, um, that you all have been admitted and will be joining the CFC family next fall. Uh, so stay tuned, stay on to your email, your CFC email, look for announcements, um, and we hope to see you either virtually or in person this spring for all of our admitted Cougar event opportunities. Thanks for tuning in tonight and have a great evening.